is fairly exciting. After a similar time. It's life. Sometimes I'm messy. A lot of the time I'm messy. Look at that. That's smart. Mayors on it. <laughs> I think it's actually a Juve. Puffy vest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do Today was just one of those days where I just couldn't be asked to get on the turbo train. I had three hours to do and it was just a case of, I didn't have the mental fortitude today to get on it and bash out an hour of fartlek. So I had kind of over under three to five minute reps uh, for an hour. And I was just like, I just don't think I have it in me. So anyway, I've come out on the bike. I've done 45 minutes of warm up. I'm gonna do an hour of fartlek or 45 minutes to an hour of fartlek um, up to the bulk, done doing the standard three hour loop and uh, see what I've got in the legs. It might just have been a case of my head was telling me that the body didn't have it in today, so we'll see how it goes. Got the summer, summer wet, so a bit of motivation and inspiration and yeah, see how it goes. Little Garmin's turned itself off. Oh, there we go. That's pretty rapid. Fair play, Garmin. That was uh, pretty good. Anyway, right. Need to get going with this. I sorted out my bike, by the way. Um, you know, I said that pre-camp, it was giving me a bit of jip and potentially cause a bit of that injury. Well, I've sorted it out. I've put a different saddle on so that I'm a bit further um, over the bottom bracket. Uh, it was way too far behind, basically, in comparison to my other bikes. Um, you may be asking why are you doing your session on the road bike instead of the TT bike? Well, Mondays I tend to do a bit of a higher power session, get the system going a little bit harder in comparison to Thursday where I do a little bit more of a specific TT session uh, in position now. Not long until my first race, so yeah, starting to get a little bit more specific, dial it in, but at the same time, got to get the work done one way or another, and this was the best way to do it today. So literally just after I took that first video, <coughs> it, uh, my legs did free up because I think I put in a little bit of an effort to the lactic moving a little bit. I'm currently at the top of the Bulk mountain and uh, I'm pretty cold now so I'm going to make my way home. But that wasn't my best effort, I was feeling pretty grim as uh, I mentioned before. Biggest takeaway I'd say was probably make sure you warm up. Don't not warm up because then you might feel like shit or feel terrible. And basically have the session that I did, whereas I wasn't really feeling it beforehand. So didn't really warm up properly. And then all of a sudden I was half an hour in feeling terrible, thinking about canning it. I think the other thing, if ever in doubt, then just do the volume instead of the intensity. So I did not do, I don't think, the intensity that I'd intended on doing today. It was more of a case of just getting the work done at a solid effort. One of the big differences, however, is that inside on the turbo, I was saying this to M just before, on the turbo, 
you have a really controlled environment, you can push quite a lot of watts because there's no road surfaces, no traffic, no rolling terrain or anything like that. Whereas outdoors, you have all of that, you have all of the kind of interferences, you have to deal with those things and it's quite tough. Like, but at the same time, you need to practice both because obviously the physiology and the strength comes from the indoor trainer, whereas outdoors is where you race. So you need to be good on both and therefore, yeah, it's good to do indoors and outdoors. Today I did it indoors, or today I did it outdoors because it was more of the mental strain, whereas I should be doing outdoors anyway because of the physical strain. Am I annoyed? No, I'm not annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm you not. Sound like you're angry. No, I'm not angry at all. I think I'm quite pleased that I managed to get out and get it done because I'm not dreading the session so much. More. I was just tired and it's probably just a backlog of a couple of weeks of like solid training. Also just burning the candle at both ends. But yeah, no, it's it's absolutely fine. I think the fact that I got it done, I'm really happy with. It's just, uh, yeah, no, I, I think, no, nah, I'm not annoyed at the session at all. Like it's better to get something done than nothing. And I went and gave it a shot. So yeah. Yeah, the orange is good, isn't it? Really nice kit. It's nice and warm. This jacket is going extinct. No way. Yeah, so this is like one of the last iterations of it, or versions of it, or production of it. So this is, I should probably put it in a safe, lock it away, and then sell it in a few years time because it might be worth something. Castelli have this other uh, jacket, which is very good um, in comparison. So I don't think there's gonna be anything that's comparable to this. I think I think actually they're, they're decommissioning it because the material that they use isn't exactly environmentally friendly. So they've had to stop. But the other Castelli jacket, I think they used it for their pockets in the past. 